Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to stop once and for all those annoying ads and notification on the Chrome browser and also for Windows 10 applications. So stick with me till the end and if you are someone who already knows about it then you can just skip ahead and check out our other videos in the playlist tab of our channel. And if you are someone new to our channel consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos about Fitbit devices, tech reviews, Photoshop tutorials and much more. Also check out the playlist tab on our channel to view our curated content where I'm sure you'll find something interesting. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now uh, right off the bat, let me start with the Chrome browser. So if you are someone who gets notification like this and have no idea how in the first place you started getting these and you're really pissed off by those, then this is what you need to do. Uh, open your Chrome browser. Now there are two ways to access setting on Chrome. Uh, number one, the simplest way is to click on this uh, three dotted button on top right. Uh, pretty easy to find, scroll down to the settings and you will be taken to the setting page. Number two is basically you can open a new tab and type Chrome colon forward slash forward slash settings and that's the second way to access the setting now there are two ways to access the page where you can find the option to turn off the notification um, and number one is on the search bar uh, you type content setting C O N T E N T S E W T I N G S settings and you should scroll down and you can find content settings right here Number two is uh, on the setting page, you can scroll down all the way at the bottom until you see this advanced, click it, and you should see the content setting in the privacy and security tab. Uh, usually it's all the way at the bottom. Now, once you're on the content setting, uh, go on to the notifications right here. Now, if you are someone who does not care and just do not want any single notification to pop up from Chrome, then uh, turn this uh, ask before sending, which is recommended off. In my case, it's, it's turned on, but you can just click it off and you will not get any notification from Chrome. And if you are someone who just want to avoid notification from certain website, uh, like in my case, you can see right here, uh, then uh, what you can do is you can allow certain websites uh, and you see this three dotted button you click it and you get three options block edit and remove now if you just want to remove that particular website which was allowed earlier then you can just click remove and it's, it's gone from the list forever uh, that's it um, now let's say sometimes you would be surprised when you come to this page and you will see certain websites which you have never visited just like this one in my case um, and you will wonder how did it get there in the first place and the answer is you probably have visited a website which would automatically add certain websites to your uh, browser's notification list just like this and in that case this is what you can do now on the previous page uh, which is the content settings uh, there are a lot of good options which i'm not gonna talk about in this video but you can definitely check them out uh, just make sure you read before making any changes but i will talk about um, this ads uh, where where you can see it says blocked on the sites that uh, shows intrusive or misleading app and it's recommended to turn it off by Chrome itself which in my case is turned off uh, the intrusive ads are basically the ads which pops up and you pretty much don't have any control on it and sometimes they also contain malicious viruses and the other option which I wanted to talk about is um, this pop-ups and redirect uh, which in my case is allowed basically pop up and redirect are certain websites will uh, have pop ups and it may redirect you to uh, another website sometimes these are 
uh, annoying uh, and it takes you to a website where you can't go back and make contain malicious viruses uh, so I always um, keep it off but sometimes if you uh, want to allow certain websites which in my case I have done here for certain websites you can also do that by uh, adding certain websites over there now before I end uh, there are also some third-party Chrome extensions which automatically blocks annoying ads pop-ups uh, redirects and much more features which I'm not gonna talk in depth on this video but you can definitely research by yourself uh, I use this uh, ad block uh, and it works well for me speaking of ad block I, I want you guys to know that this video is not sponsored or endorsed by ad blocks and I'm not affiliated to ad blocks by any means however if you want to know about the products which I am affiliated to or I strongly recommend my viewers to check them out then check out the description of this video and you will find the links to those uh, products now next on our list is the app notifications for Windows 10 which looks like this uh, as you can see there are app notification from Fitbit and the mail app from my Windows 10 system. Now you may have noticed uh, you would be getting such notification from a lot of apps and if you want to get rid of those here's what you need to do first of all you will find the notification or the action center at the bottom right of the screen right here uh, and as soon as you click it you'll be taken to the notifications um, of from the app now in my case I have uh, just one notification from Fitbit right here uh, now you get two options right over here if you want to get rid of the notification right click on the the banner of the notification and you'll get two options uh, number one is go to the notification setting and number two is turn off the notification for Fitbit so let's say if you just want to get rid of uh, the notification for that particular app click the turn off notification and that's it you're done for that app uh, however for this video I'll show you a couple of options in the notification setting so once you click this go to notification setting you'll be taken to the notification setting for that particular app which in my case is Fitbit and you can see here there is notification which I, is on obviously if you turn it off you won't get any notification show the notification banner so the banner is basically this is called a banner uh, keep notification private on the lock screen which in my case is off but if I turn it on I won't see it when the screen is locked now show the notification in the action center which is basically uh, on, on the in this option now play sound when a notification arrives uh, which is on but you can turn it off and number of notification visible in the action center which in my case is 3 but you can go ahead up to 20 and then the last thing is priority in my case it's normal but if you keep it a, a top priority then they will be always shown on top of the uh, action center which is above all your other notifications now let's go back on to the notification and action now here you get a couple of notification options which is show the notification on lock screen uh, show reminders and incoming call on lock screen uh, show me windows welcome experience after an update get tips and trick and suggestion as you, you uh, use the windows which I'll turn it off because sometimes they are annoying unless you really want to learn about them and get the notification from the apps or and other center uh, other centers sorry now here is the list of all the apps which I have installed uh, and which allows uh, pushback notification uh, for the action center now you can either turn them off right from here or you click on to it and then you get all the custom options and you can play around and do what you have to do. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and maybe give a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos from our channel. And take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.